Hello. It has been a little bit since I've gone live on LinkedIn. So I'm just going to pop in on my app to make sure that it's actually working. Because for those of you who do stream live to LinkedIn, you know that you have to utilize a third party platform in order to do it. So let's see. Okay. I got a notification to tune into myself. How about that? So everyone, I hope you're having a beautiful start to your week. I wanted to show up today to talk a little bit about why my ethos, purpose and profit not being mutually exclusive is so important to me and why I would encourage all of you to adopt a similar ethos. Of course, you don't have to literally say, I believe purpose and profit are not mutually exclusive. But for most of you who identify as being mission driven or disruptive, you really have started your business um, to make a difference in the world in whatever mode that comes into or whatever shape that takes, you most likely consider yourself um, as having maintaining that ethos, as really setting out to make a difference while also, of course, still maintaining your bottom line. So a little bit about me. Some of you um, might not be familiar with my work, or maybe it's been a little bit since you've seen me show up on your feed my name is Nadia, and I'm the founder and CEO of Alternative Media. We are a purpose-driven marketing and media company that, as I mentioned, we support mission-driven and disruptive founders with achieving their business goals while making a difference in the world. And we do that through our strategic marketing services, through co-created media, and soon through emerging technology as we continue to evolve in that direction. So a lot of people will ask me, why purpose? Like, why is purpose so important to you? And how did you come to make Alternative Media this purpose-driven company? Like, were you always like that? Was that always a thing? And the answer is not quite so obviously. I think I always had the goal to make a difference with my marketing work, with my writing, um, because I was a freelance journalist before I moved into um, marketing. But it kind of happened when I had an opportunity to work with a really amazing emerging hip hop artist, shout out to Miranda Wrights, back in 2018. And she came to me with a dilemma of needing to identify herself as not just being a hip hop artist, but also connecting with her um, passion for snowboarding. So she was also an avid snowboarder. So I said, okay, that's unique. And I thought, you know, different ways, different avenues, maybe we could do that. And we came to um, the conclusion that perhaps reaching out to aligned nonprofits, maybe nonprofits that somehow had some sort of correlation with snowboarding. I frankly, at the time, this is back in 2018, I don't know if I already mentioned that, um, knew of any such organization. So we had to go to the drawing board. We came across the Chill Foundation, which is a nonprofit started by the Burton brand, and they work with underserved youth across the country to empower them through board sports. And so that can be snowboarding in the more wintry areas or surfing in the more warm and sunny areas like Southern California. And Miranda being in the Northeast, being in New York City area, we went and reached out to their New York chapter. And we were like, hey, you know, this is the situation. Miranda is really passionate about um, empowering youth, but she's also a singer and she's an avid snowboarder. So I decided just kind of came in my head. I'm like, why don't we propose that she become an ambassador for this nonprofit? And so the concept of purposeful partnership was born from that moment. So she became the first real ambassador for the nonprofit. And then from there, they continued um, expanding this concept of ambassadorship. And fast forward to, gosh, 2018, 19, 20, 21, five, six years later, she is still um, a nonprofit ambassador and has helped them raise a lot of money and also has gone on to do more stuff with Burton. And of course, this really ex um, enhanced her personal brand and really gave her more purpose in how she showed up with her music because she knew that when she was leveraging her platform for good in this way. So that's what I mean when I'm talking about purpose and profit not being mutually exclusive. As an artist, in her case, you know, she needs to grow her brand. She needs to make more money so she can expand and do more things, more production, stuff like that. But she also is really passionate about giving back. So that's how, you know, one example upon many, many others, how you can really reconcile um, you know, the purpose and the profit side.
So a lot of times people will come to me and they're like, okay, well, I really like what you stand for, but I'm not a nonprofit or I'm not a benefit corp or my company is not yet, you know, established as being impact driven. And I say, that's okay, because guess what? You can partner up with a nonprofit organization by way of a purposeful partnership and find different cool avenues to make a difference with what you do. Now, you might say, okay, that's amazing. I love this. Um, I want to try and do purposeful partnership. But I mean, is that the only way to be really purpose driven? So even if we're looking outside of the the ethos we're talking about here of purpose and profit not being mutually exclusive, when we think about being purpose driven, we don't just think about reconciling those two things. We also think about being intentional, right? Intentional with our work, intentional with how we show up, always mean, you know, really focusing on driving value with what we do. That's also a big part of being purpose driven. I'm sure for those of you who feel that that resonates with you, if you're getting a LinkedIn connection request, that's just very like dry or it's going on and on. Like you see those automated incoming messages. It's like one after the next, like, yeah, you know, I'd be to be lead gen. Hey, have you had a chance to look at my message and bumping it up? It's like the same thing over and over. It's very generic. So <laughs> another aspect of being purpose driven, showing up intentionally, it's being authentic. Like we don't like that people who are purpose driven. We don't like seeing all that generic stuff. Now that doesn't mean you can't leverage automation or you can't um, you know, find strategic ways to grow your business at scale, but you should do so in a way that still um, you know, maintains your integrity and your desire to be purpose driven. So, you know, I, that's really all I have for today. I wanted to show up. I, I feel like I have not been showing up nearly enough. And I've been speaking with a lot of my clients about the importance of showing up. And it's important that I set an example and set a precedent for them as well. So that being said, if this resonated with you, definitely um, reach out with a message. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you're not yet connected with me, feel free to connect. And if you have any interest in growing your personal brand or your business brand um, via strategic marketing and PR in a way that is purpose forward, definitely book a call in my calendar. You can do that with a link right beneath my name, I believe. Um, it'll link you right out to my Calendly. And I look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Have a great week.